I have seen the machines inside the convenience stores, but I have never ever had cause to try Icy. I don't know why. I've just, I've never tried it. I've never been curious enough to try it. I've never, I've never even wondered what it tastes like to actually want to try it. But today I'm going to be trying it out in the form of the Glam Light Icy Collection. So if you want to see what this collection looks like on dark skin, then keep on watching. So if you are new here, my name is Ohima. Welcome. If you are a returning subscriber, hey. If you didn't know, Glam Light is a cosmetic brand that actually does makeup inspired by food. But today we're going to be taking a look at the Icy Collection, which we were lucky enough to have Glam Light send over to us. I know it's been out for a while, but this is my first time trying it. This is the Glam Light Icy Collection. It's falling down. It is huge. And inside it, you get a cup, you get an icy cup that has a, um, a straw. I already put it together. I think I'm going to take this to the store and buy some icy so I can taste it and just see what it's all about. Okay. And then there are two eyeshadow palettes in here. There is the cherry palette and the blue raspberry palette. Yeah, we're going to be doing two looks in this video so that we can see what the palette is all, so we can see what these palettes are all about. So the first palette we're going to jump into is the blue raspberry palette. And this is what it looks like on the inside. So this palette has seven matte shades and five shimmer shades. I would swatch it for you, but I am an application person because sometimes how a product swatches is not exactly how it shows up on the lid. So which is gonna go ahead and jump into the first palette. I'm gonna go ahead and start with my brows. As always, I go in and fill it in with my Fenty Brow MVP. Then I clean it with a matte concealer, apply some eyeshadow primer. Today we're gonna be using the Juvia's Place Eye Prep Eye Prime in the shade number one. And we're just gonna jump into that blue palette. So I'm taking this shade from the blue palette and I'm just gonna stamp it into my eyeshadow base because stamping in my shadows makes sure that I get as intense a color payoff as possible. And also it makes sure that I'm setting my base and I'm not gonna get any creases in there. So I just keep stamping until I see that my shadow is powdery enough. And then I went ahead and started blending the edges out. I did not use any shade. Oh, I didn't use any other shade to blend this shade out. I just kept blending until I got a good transition out of the shade that I put down. The shade is so gorgeous. I absolutely love it. Next, I'm going to go into our second shade and I'm using a second shade on my inner corner using the same brush. This is a one brush eyeshadow look and also I didn't have to add anything on top of my Juvia's Place Eye Prep Eye Prime primer to hold onto my shimmer. The Juvia's Place Eye Prep Eye Prime is like really nice in holding on to shimmer shades. I'm really impressed by this every time I use it. But I went ahead and applied the shimmer all over my lid and then I went into our first blue shade and used that to um, intensify my lower, la my lower lash line. <sighs> To intensify my lower lash line i didn't get any fallout on my face but you know i just had to brush some powder on there just in case and then i used my same setting powder to kind of clean the edges of this eyeshadow look a little bit more going in with the sephora collection precision matte eyeliner i did like a small wing liner and you know a small wing liner and then i applied some Next, I applied the Milani Anti-Gravity Mascara, and then I used the Bonsi Beauty Lashes in the style Summer Love, and in the style Summer Love. Next, I go into this shade, and I apply a little bit of that in my inner corner, and y'all, that is all I wrote for this eyeshadow look. I really love it. I like how intense and bold, yet like easy it was to create. And this is the Cherry Icy Palette, and this is what the And then there's a Cherry Icy palette, and this is what the Cherry Icy palette looks like on the inside. It is a cherry palette through and through. You get some beautiful red, some beautiful pinks, and some beautiful neon pink and orange kind of shade. This palette also comes with seven matte shades and five shimmer shades. 
and I think this is like a really really nice palette okay okay now let's go ahead and jump into this eyeshadow look I'm gonna go in with the Jaclyn Cosmetics first base eyeshadow primer my brows are done and I like to blend my eyeshadow primers in with my fingers because it helps the product blend in better today we're gonna be using our p louise primers i'm taking the shade rumor zero and we're gonna apply that to the eyes it is definitely very easy to do monochromatic looks with this palette i'm first gonna go in with i like this shade I feel like i haven't seen a neon shade Woo! look at this tip the fact that it's moving in the palette with just a touch means it's going to be super intense okay i'm gonna place that shade i picked up in the middle oh it is cute. It is so bright. This is a neon shade. Oh my goodness. Okay, I'm gonna go into this shade next. Using the same brush, I'm gonna place it right next to that very intense shade that we just started out with. Okay, and of course I have to go into that deep shade in the palette. Like, I just have to. I'm gonna go into this shade using the same brush. I'm gonna place it on the outer edge of this. I like it. Okay, I'm just gonna blend everything together. I'm blending the middle shade into that deep shade a little bit so that that line can disappear. And I am going into the palette to do that. It's a light blend like that. And that just immediately blends both lines or both shades together. Okay, and I'm gonna take some of our neon shade, just dampen it a little bit more. Okay, so everything is blended in together. I'm just gonna take the same brush and I'm not gonna put any product on it. I'm just gonna run it along the edges of this line that I created. Just circular motions or whatever motion that you, you know how to blend anything out with at this point and just blend everything into the skin. The goal is not for it to have like one specific color transition. It's just to blend all the colors together. At this point, you just have to intensify it until you're happy with it. And I am happy with this. But I need some of this deep shade to come back into the look. So I went back into that shade. And I'm just going to intensify the outer corner. Okay, so I'm taking the deep shade in the palette. I'm going to place that on my outer corner, blend it into this cut crease that we did. Okay, I'm going to take my concealer brush and we're going to use this shade first and then we're going to go into this shade first, reddish kind of shimmer shade. And we're going to place it on the lid and blend it all the way until we're close to the front of the eyes. I mean, one thing I've noticed is that I literally have no fallout on my eyes and I'm putting shimmer shades. Usually shimmer shades give me fallout and this one hasn't done that. I'm gonna go into our whitish kind of shimmer shade and I'm gonna place it right here. Then I'm gonna blend it into a pinkish reddish shimmer shade. And then I'm gonna blend our very deep plum shade, cherry shade, our deeper shade into the rest of the eye so that it gives this gorgeous gradient that we got over here. In some of our deep shade, that deep red shade, I'm going to place it directly on my lower lash line. And I was really tempted to do a color water line, but the way my eye is sensitive, if I'm not careful, I'm going to cry this whole makeup look away. So I don't want to do that. I'm taking some of this very neon pink shade in the palette and I'm going to place it on the inner corner of my eye black eyeliner in my waterline so now the one thing i'm going to tell you about the palette is that every shade in this palette or every shade in these palettes blend together so beautifully okay so this is the eyes it looks cute so next we're going to be swatching the three glosses that came in the icy collection i am late to the collection for sure but i'm going to swatch the shade cola first and these are glosses so this is the shade cola it looks cute. I think it looks cute. Definitely something that could be worn by itself or you can use it as a topper. But I feel like you have to top, you have to use it as a topper with the right color lip. If not, it's gonna just overshine the lips. This is like a brownish kind of shade. So I'll definitely put it over like a brownish kind of a lip option. Okay, next we have the shade Cherry. And Cherry is this reddish kind of shade. 
Ooh, I think this is more clear with a hint of color. This one does not have any shimmer pieces in it, but Cola did have some shimmer pieces in there. This one is giving gloss and it's not bad. Very cute, very cute, right? See, Raspberry has like a hint of a bluish kind of cast to it. Raspberry is definitely cute and I want to keep this on. That is it for me, showing you guys the Icy by Glam Light collection. Definitely a very cute collection. Let me know down below if you think this is a collection that you might pick up. Just a disclaimer, this is a very, very, very colorful collection. So if you don't like color, stay away from this collection. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye.